as indicated by the U.S. government's own particular information, the genuine number of American troops sent to Iraq and Syria surpasses the Pentagon's authentic figures by thousands. While the Pentagon claims it has just sent 503 troops to Syria, a quarterly report by the Defense Manpower Data Center DMDC, has put the number at more than three times higher. Authoritatively there are 503 U.S. troops in Syria and 5,262 in Iraq. Be that as it may, the Pentagon's quarterly report puts number of troops as 1,720 in Syria and 8,892 in Iraq. Press TV reports, the DMDC is the U.S. Defense Department's faculty office and gathers information on American troops are serving in singular states and abroad nations. A similar report, issued in September, demonstrated that there were 8,992 American troops in Iraq, right around 3,500 more than the Pentagon's legitimate count of 5,262. Colonel Rob Manning, a Pentagon representative, scrutinized the believability of DMDC's numbers, making light of them as starting appraisals for given areas that additionally calculated in here and now organizations and troop turns in different nations. Pentagon liable to concede 2,000 U.S. troops in Syria. The DMDC numbers are not the official organization tally, the numbers that we gave, the roughly 500 in Syria and around 5,000 in Iraq is the official sending check, said Manning. There are a few different things that go into those numbers, it is a depiction in time and need to likewise consider that number is quarterly, our official sending check has not transformed, he included. Prior this year, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis requested an audit of the real number of U.S. troops serving in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria to perceive what number of troops had been conveyed in those nations past the most extreme power levels approved under previous President Barack Obama. Up until now, in any case, just the troop numbers for Afghanistan have been openly unveiled and the Pentagon has no expectation of doing likewise for the other two nations. Some of that depends on operational security, some depends on concurrences with accomplices and partners, Manning said. We're not at a point where we can make a declaration that contrasts from the numbers we beforehand expressed. By and by. A similar inconsistency in official numbers can be found in Afghanistan, where the Pentagon puts the number at 14,000 versus the DMDC's 15,282. There are additionally 1,202 Pentagon regular people in the nation, as indicated by the DMDC. The information is intended to be only an underlying assessment and beginning stage, a Pentagon official revealed to ABC News. Notwithstanding the forever allocated workforce in the nation, the information helped with taking a gander at the conceivable number of sent faculty in a territory.